Welcome everybody to this Lightboard session where we're going to learn a little bit more about vSAN. In this particular session, we're going to look at what a two-node vSAN cluster is and, and how it works and uh, where it might be valuable. So this is a solution that has, uh, from a scale basis, the amount of deployment is incredible. Uh, when I talk to customers who are deploying two nodes, there's some that, oh yeah, I've got three or four sites, I'm deploying this out. But there's also customers with thousands of sites that needed a low-cost solution. And there's some unique capabilities of this two node. So at its core basic design, this operates on a system to where the, you have the two nodes and data is mirrored between those hosts. Um, regards to that, now we do need to have um, a means of establishing quorum. And so where previously we had have a witness component with our RAID 1 mirroring, now we have a witness appliance. It's a virtual appliance that runs out generally at a primary data center. Um, it can be local, but oftentimes it's not. Um, that serves to host that witness component. And we actually have a shared witness, multi-witness um, option appliance that can host the witnesses for multiple clusters. Now, from a network connectivity, one of the powerful capabilities of the two node design is the ability to operate in a directly connected mode. So you can have some high speed links, 10, 25 gigabit um, ethernet that you're using for both not only vSAN, but also vMotion, which can be quite bandwidth hungry, and you don't have to upgrade the switching. Because if I've got thousands of pharmacy sites or, or you know, refining facilities or remote uh, retail establishments, I might have, you know, from a networking basis, um, a 12 year old one gig switch that the networking team doesn't have budget to replace. You know, putting out enterprise data center class 10 and 25 gig ethernet at hundreds or thousands of sites often just isn't a budget discussion. So being able to directly connect those um, and not have to refresh the networking, that really makes the TCO on this pretty incredible. Yeah, and I think as a result of that, it's really been why this uh, topology has been so popular for us. Uh, we see it in all kinds of uh, different scenarios where uh, they may, be, uh, may have limited uh, resources, um, or they want to keep the cost down in, in uh, you know, thousands of, of uh, remote sites. And this is a way uh, to do it, yet they're not compromising in many ways. They're not compromising uh, the performance capabilities because of the uh, direct uh, connected nature. And in fact, John and I have talked about you can make an extremely high performance uh, two node uh, cluster because of the uh, capabilities with the direct uh, connected. Now, there have been some improvements to this over the years. Uh, there's some improvements in failure handling that came in within the seven branch. Um, and there's a blog, I encourage you to go uh, look at the comments and go read that. But also there's some other capabilities in terms of doing protection within a host. So this is a unique case where we actually can have a raid across the disk groups within that host. You can even have a, you know, a raid one, um, or if you had a lot of disk groups of raid five within that host. So now you have the ability to tolerate the failures of multiple devices within hosts and hosts combined. Um, there's different ways that, you know, if, a, if we have these hosts even staggered and failures, we could even lose a host then, you know, maybe an hour later, the witness even fails, then a device in this. So these two node designs, particularly when we use the local protection, uh, can get incredible on resilience. And if you've got sites that, you know, four hour parts replacement contracts and warranties are great, um, but I can't get a four hour service agreement in the middle of the North Sea. So, <laughs> yeah. No, the, the secondary levels of resilience, which is what John was referring to there, uh, that introduces all new levels of resilience uh, that previously weren't available uh, to the two-node cluster arrangement. Uh, and then, of, of course, just being able to uh, accommodate for a variety of conditions with that witness host appliance also uh, has been introduced in, in uh, recent additions. If you'd like to learn more about uh, two-node clusters, uh, what they are, how they work, uh, recommendations uh, from a design and an operations uh, perspective, feel free to go out to core.vmware.com uh, and where you can learn uh, and get all of the latest and greatest uh, recommendations out there. Uh, thank you very much.